Okay, so um, in this demonstration, I just want to um, run over with you how to record um, NMR information and then interpret it via uh, Mestrec or other processing software. Uh, so on my desktop, I have two links. I have this for Mestrec, and then I have um, also this 1D processing software. So we'll look, click on Mestrec, and Mestrec, as you see, is um, let's move this up. It's Mestrec um, 2.10 as the program. We'll close that, and then we go into this here, and let's open this, and you will see that this program here, get down, is this. AC DNMR processing software as well. So any quick search onto the internet it should find you, I would hope. So I'll just go back to Google on this. The Mestrec download, and here, of course, are some of the options for you to download at an ACD um, NMR data as well can be downloaded at various points. So I'll leave you two to sort out where you're downloading the issues from. But if you get into Mestrec, you open it, <coughs> what what should you do to, to, to look at the um the, the file process by the Brooker instrumentation here at Salford. So we'll just close this down for one moment. Just go back to a pen drive. So if I was to look at um opening an NMR file up so we'll go to uh, maybe this old NMR file. So there's proton, carbon and carbon depth. If I was to look at this as the proton NMR and click on any of the files and let's try and you know pick that one and, and run it as a file it, it, you know it will ask for the program of choice so the, the file to open is this um, FID file again if you click on that you can't open it so let's get rid of that. Let's go to the mesh track again will open it back up. Here now we need to open the file so I'm going to look at my computer and I'm going to look at the removable disk and at this point then um, I need to um, as well look to at the NMR data of my, f of my choice so we'll look at this NMR. We'll go to the proton carbon and depth so let's look at proton we always need to open the FID file, so FID, open, and then it's a process Fourier transform information and we'll open it and then you start to see your NMR data. So what you can do is click on these, so you can zoom in if you wish or you can, you can decrease intensity, increase intensity, so let's decrease intensity, let's zoom in in a certain area. So let's zoom in and let's assume that this, this peak here is your deuterated chloroform. So let's press on that, click on it, and we're going to now say we want to select chloroform as a proton in the MAR solvent. So we'll click on that and we'll OK. This is our proton uh, solvent. So this is CHCl3. This is the chloroform lock now. So let's go back to a full spectra and um, so if there's something over here we want to have a look at we could zoom in at this point but this is a molecule of um, this is a chalcone derivative so this is not really anything that we wish to see let's go back to a full spectra let's zoom into it again sort of press on to zoom in and let's try and now integrate so how do we integrate Let's integrate at this point by this integration button and we hold the mouse over the area that we wish to choose. Let's choose that as an integration and integrate at 1, integrate at point 2, integration, integration, maybe we integrate there and then we'll integrate at this point will integrate here, so we're, all, we're integrating as we're going along, that's our solvent. Let's go back to a full spectra, maybe again we'll just 
zoom in as we wish. If we're happy with that, we wanted to print it. So let's go to Edit, Copy. Let's move into a, let's say, a Word file. See, so we can paste this into Word, and then we paste at that point, and hopefully you'll see your NMR data shown. Okay, that's your NMR spectra with integrations included. Let's go back to the uh, the file. Let's as well now presume that we want to look at some um, J values. So we want to look at some potential J values in this aromatic area. So if we go to this button here for peak picking, we can look at peaks as we're going along. So we can hold the mouse over here and see if we can. This gives us, let's just move this out of the way. So let's just try and get this mouse over here again. So let's close that actually. So again, we peak pick. We move over a certain area, and the castomatic will just move this down. We can see, um, hopefully, this will peak pick out at certain parts. But let's again go for TMS. And we'll get our peaks back if we can. Oops, making a mess of this as per usual. Okay, so let, yes, if we wish to um, show the peak picks, so let's go to peak picking. If you hold the cursor over certain parts of the spectra, on, on occasions if you can hold it over at certain parts, you see the PPMs occur. But yeah, if we click on this one here, peak picking, and, and just highlight certain areas when we see right. Let's say this is 8.1, 8.2, 8.19. There's a Hertz value here at 3.280.253. The difference between that one and the next peak at, so we'll look at this one as a at 8.5, or we move this one at 8.04. So our next peak at 8.04 ppm is a as a J value of a Hertz value of 3218. Uh, 7, 10. So the difference between that value and let's go over there, that value is the difference between 3225.863, sorry, 3218.710. So that's a 7.1 hertz value. So that's a 7.1 hertz split if you were to say that these two protons were related as a doublet. And likewise you can zoom into other areas here. So really zoom in. Let's look at that one and say is that a doublet of doublets as a doublet and a doublet of doublets. So again you might want to peek pick out certain parts and again see by holding over that's 7.690 with 3077.138 Hz and that is 7.682 with 3073.63 Hz so the difference now in value is uh, 4 Hz so you could talk about that being a J value of 4 Hz if you required as a doublet of doublets so I'm not at this point going to tell you uh, you know about NMR spectroscopy as such and what it actually is and you've other modules here at the university for that, but this is how to use Mestrex. So, of course, if you, if you wanted to to zoom in at certain parts of these spectra, so you're happy with that, you could either edit and copy it again, and go into the next part of a Word document, and then Control V it, which you'll see the spectra now. So you can zoom in and out as you so desire, or sometimes I like just going print screen as we've done there back into Word. Let's get it in the next position here. So I'll just move it down. And then we'll control V and we'll print our screen in. Okay, so that's about Proton and Um let me just close this quickly. Let's go into the next file now uh, and look at carbon enema. So again you need always to open the FID file 
So open process Fourier transform OK and this is the carbon NMR so again we need to reference um, the, the CDCL3 so we go into this area we TMS it so we'll say that's 77 which is indeed the case for chloroform due to chloroform we're OK we're happy full spectra and again we can we can zoom into certain areas OK, we can zoom into certain areas, we might want to increase intensity. Uh, tier, uh, peak picking again, so we'll go over there. We can probably hold this over there and click it and find that with an 190.61 um, ppm. So this is a, obviously a carbonyl group. So we'll close this, we may want to go over to here and find that with a next peak at 144.82. So this might of course be something like an alkene position. These are your aromatic areas, so let's just say we're not happy with that. We want to zoom into this and, and again find our different our, our PPM values. Okay, so that's this is the next file here is a, is a carbon NMR. Again, not telling you how to interpret this, other modules are available for that. This is, of course, how to use MESTREC. So we'll close this, we're, we've done with that. Let's open the third file, which is 12, and this should be a carbon depth. So again, it's FID data, open, process, uh, Fourier transform, OK. And again, this is this is the carbon depth, so this is CH and CH3 up. So if I was to just now grab the spectra, so let's grab the spectra and move it up, you don't see anything under here on the line, so there's no CH2. These are only CHs and CH3s. And we, we've, we've now knocked on the head the appearance of the deuterated chloroform too. So let's just move into this area and again I'll quickly zoom in. And you can obviously see that this is the CH area of the alkene system or the aromatic system. So again, alkene systems, aromatic systems. And again, if you wanted to peak pick, you can hold uh, the peak pick button over the certain um, area and find, of course, that you've got 122. 128, 128, 128, 128. I think you get the meaning. So let's just close this again and say if you opened up this as a file, you've proton carbon and depth, showed you how to open this. And this is how to use MESTREC. This is my first port of call. So we'll close that quickly, don't save any changes. So if I, just to show you uh, about this um, ACD NMR software, it's very similar. Open up. I'm sure you can go to this website and find further training guides for this. We want to explore, open an existing file, so we'll OK it. Uh, we'll look at um, mole structure, protein and amount, open, FID again, open, and then we need to go process Fourier transform, and I've got for default transform, and you see the NMR as listed here. And again, for our understanding at the moment, let's manually zoom in if we can. So let's zoom in. So let's click this one, horizontal zoom. Yeah, we're zooming into certain areas. We might now want to do a bit of analysis. We might want to do a bit of integration. So we'll go for uh, manual integration. Let's try that. Manual integration, we're happy. Manual integration manual integration you can see the integrations appearing and then we'll just quickly click on click on that one so you can see like a, maybe you know relatively that's one to two to two to three is an integration and this is deuterated chloroform as well so we might want to on that one just look at um, um, if we can uh, reference in this so see if we can reference that, let's click on that. Okay, so can we reference that? Uh, probably, yes we can. Let's just pop. Okay, so for reference it's uh, analysis and uh, reference and then we'll say enter mode and we'll click on that one. So that's our chloroform and then we'll say that's chloroform 7.27. .27. Okay, it's in everything adjusts to Chloroform. So again, I think very similar to to Mestrec. I mean, you can have a look on the internet for other sources of 
you know a, a training but the 15 minute guide this is how we use um, mess track and uh, this ACD NMR suite as a basic guide and uh, I'll leave it at that thank you